there was something silly I did maybe three or four years ago somewhere around there back then I was so concerned about money I was concerned about my clothes cars tangible things and at the same time no matter how much money I made I had absolutely no peace none so when I did that stupid thing <laughs> Like afterward, <laughs> or a time afterward, I gave my life to God. And I believe God wanted me to fix that foolish stuff that I did wrong. And by fixing that problem, I lost. <laughs> so much and being the way that I was I guess you can say my idol was money so to fix that issue that I did I had to give up money Because what came to me, you can either hold on to what you have and lose me or keep me and lose what you have. And the way that I was back then and still now, hey, I don't want to go to hell. But at the same time, I don't want to lose what I have. But, I don't want to go to hell. So, not wanting to go to hell exceeds how much I want to keep my things. So, I started, <laughs> my Lord, I started to fix that issue, my Lord. It was really, really hard. But after doing those things, I learned something. After giving away what I had to give away, I learned something. I lived my life pretty much serving money. And I started to notice how insignificant stuff is like how really insignificant things were the more i started to excel in god elevate in god the less money became my idol i saw how <laughs> foolish living your life to try to gain i saw how empty that really is i would not have learned this if i did not give in to god's demands if i was not if i did not fix that issue that was going on back then I would not have learned what I have learned. Yes, I lost a lot, but what I learned So, I guess I can say I am happy that I lost because I would not have learned what I know now or what I have learned from that experience if that did not happen.
for many people, <laughs> what is getting in your way is your job, is your money. For some people, it is your pride. So I am praying right now that God takes away whatever is keeping you away from him. Now you may say, Kevin, don't pray that because I want what I have now. No, I pray that God takes away whatever you have now that is keeping you away from God now. Because what that is, is an idol. So I pray that God takes away right now what you hold sacred before God. 